I was able to contact an agency in Canada that recruits foreign caregivers. I'm not joking, guys. They told me a lot of things, you know, as regards hiring foreign workers, you know, the challenges they face and so many things. After we had a lengthy discussion, they told me a pathway that immigrants or aspiring immigrants can use to migrate to Canada if they want to work as a caregiver. And guys, please take note of this. You can also, you know, apply for a job, get a job and migrate to Canada as a caregiver. But this pathway is something that I feel you guys can also explore because the truth is not everyone will get a job from abroad. Most people, you know, have to go through several pathways just to achieve their relocation dreams. So sit back and watch this video to the very end as I explain this pathway. Hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your beautiful baby girl kemzi o if you're just seeing my face for the very first time you're welcome in this channel i talk about relocation tips life abroad and fit and if you're a returning subscriber you guys are the best thank you for supporting your baby girl thank you for always watching my videos i am grateful for your love and your support so guys in today's video i'm going to be opening your eyes to a pathway you can take to migrate to canada in this pathway you don't need to write IELTS you can move with your family and you don't need a job offer so guys I want you to stick to the end of this video because most people don't know about this okay I've done a video on how you can move to Canada as a caregiver I'm going to be putting the link to that video in the description box okay in that video I explained you know the necessary documents you need where you can search for jobs I also did a video on how you can write a Canada styled CV guys all this video will be in the description box so please watch them all right so before now if you want to migrate to canada as a caregiver if you're overseas you need to apply for a job okay so there are two different pathways for the caregiver route either you care for children or you care for adults if you're going to be caring for children so the pathway is called home child caregiver pilot program while if you're going to care for adults it's called the home support worker pilot program so if you get a job to work Work as a caregiver in Canada, you need to apply under this route. And I explained all those things in that video. So I think watching that video will give you a better understanding about the caregiver pathway in Canada. Okay. So guys, this pathway actually started in 2019. I remember when it started and I have been following up on this pathway ever since then. I've known people that have successfully migrated to Canada by this pathway and they are doing well. You must also understand that if you migrate to Canada as a caregiver all you have to do is to have two years experience. Once you can have a 24 month or two years work experience, you are eligible to apply for permanent residence. In fact, when you are applying for the work permit, you also pay for the permanent residency fee. When you now attain the 24 month experience, all you have to do is to send an email to IRCC that you have the required number of months of experience. Then they now, you know, process your PR application and before you know it you have your PR card is that easy is a straightforward process the reason why this pathway is also something that a lot of people want to you know explore is because the IELTS requirements is very low you just need a minimum of five once you can have a CLB of five you're good to go the only challenge with this pathway or the difficult part is to get a job abroad and I understand it's getting more competitive imagine from 2019 till now Things have changed. Everybody knows about this. It's spoken everywhere. You know, a lot of people are applying from so many countries. And also the processing time is taking longer than before. These are many more and one of the challenges you might encounter in this pathway. But guys, I have a good news. See, let me tell you something. If you want to migrate abroad, try to explore so many pathways. Guys, all you have to do is to sit down, look at the uh, look at all the pathways that you feel you're eligible for and start exploring them. Don't just rely on a particular pathway. You know, try to spread your tentacles. Don't lay all your eggs in one basket because the way things are going, you know, so many things are happening. So many countries are opening up their borders for immigrants. A lot of opportunities are opening up on a daily basis. So please 
try to harness as much as you can all right now let's get straight into the video and let me explain this pathway this pathway is a study route wait guys before you just skip this video and say oh study route we know about study route please just relax i want to explain it to you caregiver in canada are also called support workers or nurse aid and you know there are so many terminologies we use for them but if you're going to go to canada on a study visa what they said was that it's better you study a program called personal support worker Mm -hmm. most of you don't even know this program exists most of you are hearing it for the first time that's why i said you need to relax and let me explain if your intention is to work in canada as a caregiver all right and you've tried everything you can you've applied for jobs and it seems as if it's not forthcoming all right why don't you go to canada to study this program or to study this course the beautiful thing about this course is that the acceptance rate is very high because there are just few people that are enrolled in these things so you can be sure and guaranteed of the admission okay now if you have this certificate in canada you can you know apply for care jobs because now the certification or the degree you have is tailored to what you want to do and while as a student you can work for 20 hours so when you're studying the program you can go to these care homes or these agencies or these supported living homes to you know to work so you can gain experience before you graduate from the program you have experience working as a caregiver and you can explore you can reach out to companies that have lmia before you know it guys you've converted your you know your study permit to a work permit and after one year you become a permanent resident before now you only need 24 months that is two years experience before you can apply or before you can be a permanent resident under this route but there is a change to this the only thing they need is just one year once you have one year experience that is 12 months you can apply for your permanent residence in canada that is why i said the only thing you need to do is one year so guys let me just help you do this calculation if you're going to go to canada to study that program that program usually takes about eight months to about 12 months once you finish this trust me there's high probability because you are in canada i believe you must have you know seen agencies or companies organizations you know where you can you know work and also people that provide you know sponsorship for foreign nationals so this is how you're going to do it guys for those that intend to migrate to canada as a caregiver the beautiful thing is that with this certificate you can progress your career to becoming a nursing associate or even a nurse there are several schools that the minimum requirements for you to even do a nursing program is that you must have the personal support worker certificate so you're using one stone to kill two bed for those that you know they want career progression they want to probably be a nurse or a nursing associate or a nursing assistant once you have this certificate the certificate is not just limited to you getting a care job and getting your pr you can advance once you become a pr it's quite easy because you have access to several loans if you want to you know go back to school and do your nursing degree so please guys this is an opportunity i feel i should come and share to you i'm going to be showing you some schools in canada that you can apply for this program and it's not expensive i looked at the tuition fee the tuition fee is not expensive this program you want to do is tailored to a pr pathway in canada for those that want to become a pr so please guys explore this pathway okay so i'm going to be showing you some colleges in canada that offer this program these are the few colleges where you can do the personal support worker program you have algonquin college sentinel college confederation college Durham college georgian college umba almutin mohawk northern niagara college sheridan and seneca college like i said this is just a few i got online there are so many of them where you can do the personal support worker program all right 
So guys, before you choose any school in Canada, ensure it's a designated learning institute so you can be eligible for a postgraduate work permit. I will explain shortly. So this is how you check for designated learning institution in Canada. I'll be putting the link in the description box, but you can go to Google and type DLI schools in Canada. It's going to bring you to this page, all right? Now scroll to the very bottom and you're going to see view list by province or territory. Now, one of the schools that offer the personal support worker program is Seneca College, and I know it's in Ontario. So I'm going to select Ontario, all right, and it will take me to this page. So you have about 526 schools, but what I want to check is Seneca College. So under the filter item, I'm going to type Seneca College. And guys, I just want to determine whether Seneca College is eligible for pgwp which is postgraduate work permit and guys you must also take note that there are some schools that even if they are eligible for the pgwp there might be some courses in that schools that are not eligible you need to take note to check well to see if you don't fall in that category once i type seneca now it says yes yeah, seneca college these are the various cities where you have seneca colleges in Markham. Peterborough, King City, and Toronto, and these are the campuses. Now, you can see that they offer PGWP, which is Postgraduate Work Permit Eligible Program. It's all yes for all the campuses. So, if you decide to, you know, do this program, the Personal Support Worker Program in Seneca College, you can be guaranteed that after your 8 to 1 year program, you can apply for a PGWP, and in the process of you getting that you know, postgraduate work permit, you can apply for jobs and you convert it to a work permit if you so desire. I hope that makes sense, guys. This is how you can search for eligible PGWP schools. Lastly, before I end this video, I will take you through, you know, one or two schools. I will show you how you can go through the application process. It's very easy and straightforward. Let's get into my screen. So guys, this is one of the schools, Niagara College, Canada. It is one of the schools where you can enroll for a personal support worker program. Now, when you go to Google and you type the name of the school, you will see this page, okay? Personal support worker. Are you committed to positively impacting the quality of life of others? About the program, it's a one-year certificate program. This is just the overview of the course. You know, it says, as a personal support worker, you are a skilled and compassionate healthcare provider who assists clients with physical and psychosocial challenges during all life stages now these are the highlights so take your time read about it if it's something you're interested in and the unique thing about the program in this school is that it says that you will graduate with two additional certificates it says managing food safety certificate so you have a food safety certificate and a persuasive approach certificate focused on caring for individuals with dementia and other cognitive disease trust me guys if you have all this qualification on your cv and you are in canada there's nothing stopping you from you getting a sponsored job because you have experience in canada you've schooled in canada even while you're a student possibly you must have worked part-time and you've gained canadian work experience having these three solid certification and experience i think you're good to go and there are so many agencies and recruiters in ontario that can sponsor you personally i know one or two of them that i've reached out to i know them for those of you that are interested in you know going to study in canada going for this program you can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me i can guide you on the appropriate you know school to choose based on my experience and my knowledge and also tell you how you can search for this employer it also says here like i said before guys it's written here in black and white Niagara College graduates of this program or students currently enrolled in their last level have the opportunity into term two of Niagara College practical nursing diploma. Now it says that you can bridge into term two, but it's actually open for domestic students. It means those that have their PR or their citizen. Now this is to bridge into term two. You might actually take this certification and you know apply for a practical nursing or a nursing degree or diploma in canada okay and like i said this is strictly for those that want to you know go through that pathway because if you're a student and you intend to stay in canada definitely you need to look for routes that would you know that you can convert to so imagine if you go through the caregiver routes okay you become a permanent resident after one year 
before you know it to you get your pr card or pr status you can use this same certificate and apply for a practical nursing diploma program before you know it to a practical nurse okay so this is just some of the career paths that you can venture into if you study this program i'm not in any way advertising a particular college or a particular school i'm just using that college as an example just for you to see the opportunities you get to have and the kind of certification you will get at the end of the program do your research guys depending on the province you wish to migrate to there are a lot of provinces in canada do your research look at the provinces in canada and determine the kind of schools you want to migrate to once again i want to reiterate that the acceptance rate is quite high for this program so your admission is almost guaranteed okay the next thing you need to do is to apply for your study permit and before you know it you're in canada and you can always do whatever you want to do progress and achieve your dreams if you know you've gotten value from this video please i want you to share it to everyone around you even if you don't need this information there might be someone somewhere out there and needs this opportunity or that needs this information so we've come to the end of today's video and i hope you've gotten value from it do well to subscribe to my channel like this video so youtube can recommend it to more people share once again to everyone and turn on your notification bell so when i drop a new video you will be the first to be put you will be the first to be notified and guys i offer so many services if you want me to review your cv if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and if you want to join the chem the old fast track group in this group i actually review cv cover letter i help you with nhs supporting information then i send you private job links for companies in uk that are currently recruiting overseas caregivers or healthcare assistants please if you want to reach out to me for sponsorship or for business collaboration my email address is always in the description box so do well to check it out and guys i'm going to see you in my next video bye